students welcome to sunil's tutorial i'm sunil mirwani and today we'll be doing this chapter called as hydroxy compounds let's see preparation of alcohols we were doing preparation of alcohols in the last lecture let's see the next method for preparation of alcohol which is hydration of alkenes right what happens when ethene is hydrated in the presence of sulfuric acid ethene is hydrated in presence of sulfuric acid right ethene two carbon atoms ethene double bond H2, H2. This is my ethene. I have to hydrate this in the presence of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4, right? Cold reaction. Now, in the first case, since this is acid, dehydration will take place first. One water molecule will come out, so H2O. One hydrogen from here, and one OH group is going to come out so that will leave me with H2O one hydrogen from here one from here so that will leave me with CH2 CH2 and I have H and SO3H right plus no you will have an addition reaction here you will have an addition reaction here you will have h2c ch2 h comes here oso3 h comes here right and this will give you ethyl hydrogen sulfate ethyl hydrogen sulfate right ethyl hydrogen sulfate will further react with water h2c ch2 h o s o 3 h will further react with water because i need hydration reaction to take place you require hot water here in this case you would have reaction taking place again you will have ch3 you already have this ch2 reacts with the oh group and h reacts with the sulfate group to give you h2so4 back sulfuric acid is back right this is your ethyl alcohol and here you will have ethyl hydrogen sulfate right so in hydration of alkanes you will get ethyl hydrogen sulfate and uh, that ethyl hydrogen sulfate will then hydrate to give you ethyl alcohol right let's see another reaction like this what happens when propene reacts with sulfuric acid propene reacts with sulfuric acid propene three carbon atoms propene double bond ch3 three so h2 reacts with sulfuric acid h2so4 right cold reaction now here you have an asymmetrical compound reacting with an asymmetrical reagent therefore you will have to use markovnikov's rule what does markovnikov's rule state when an asymmetrical compound reacts with an asymmetrical reagent then the negative part of the reagent combines with that carbon atom containing least number of hydrogen atoms asymmetrical compound because if i divide it from center the two halves are not identical asymmetrical reagent now out of this 
This is the positive part of the asymmetrical reagent. This is the negative part of the asymmetrical reagent. The negative part of the asymmetrical reagent should either combine with this carbon or this carbon. Markovnikov's law state that, states that it will combine with that carbon atom which has less number of hydrogen atoms. So whenever you have an asymmetrical compound combining with an asymmetrical reagent, you have to use Markovnikov's law. So this will become CH3CH by Markovnikov's law, you will have OSO3H here and you will have CH2 and H reacting here. Right? So in this case, this is going to be uh, isopropyl hydrogen sulfate. This was propene. Right? The isopropyl hydrogen sulfate, CH3, CH, CH2, O, SO3, H, and H here will react with hot water will react with hot water to give you sulfuric acid back that means this OSO3 H will react with this H to give you H2SO4 plus that instead of that OSO3 you will have substitution OH will go there so you will get CH3 CH OH CH3 right now three carbon atoms therefore propyl OH therefore alcohol attached to the second carbon atom therefore set propyl alcohol right this was isopropyl hydrogen sulfate right do you understand this next let's see another method of preparation the next method of preparation is by reduction of aldehydes and ketones. Reduction of aldehydes and ketones. That's my next method of preparation. In reduction of aldehydes, uh, reduction by aldehydes and ketones, you can do it by multiple ways. One. You can do it by catalytic hydrogenation. Catalytic hydrogenation. Let's see a reaction with this. What happens when acetaldehyde reacts with hydrogen? Acetaldehyde with hydrogen. Right? Acetaldehyde, CH3, CHO. Right? Some authors even write this this way. ONH, CHO. Acetaldehyde reacts with hydrogen in the presence of catalytic. So nickel or platinum as a catalyst at 413 Kelvin. Right? Straight addition reaction takes place. You would have 1H combining here and 1H combining with O. So in that case, you will get CH3, CH2, this CH combines with 1H from here and the other H combines with O to give you OH. Here this is acetaldehyde, this is 2 carbon atom, therefore ethyl OH, therefore alcohol, ethyl alcohol. Right, do we get this in here? Next, you have propenaldehyde reacts with with hydrogen gas, right? Propenoaldehyde reacts with hydrogen gas, propene, three carbon atoms, aldehyde, CHO, right? So in that case, you will have CH3, CH2, CHO, propenoaldehyde reacts with hydrogen gas, where I'm using nickel as or platinum as catalyst at 413 Kelvin, right? Addition reaction takes place, you will get CH3, CH2, CH2OH. This is propenaldehyde 
and this is three carbon atom, therefore propyl, OH, therefore alcohol. So you will get propyl alcohol, right? This was first is by catalytic hydrogenation. Next, I can also prepare alcohols by reduction of ketones. What happens when acetone reacts with hydrogen gas? Acetone with hydrogen gas, right? Acetone, functional group is CO. So CH3, CO, CH3 reacts with hydrogen gas. Nickel or platinum as catalyst at 413 Kelvin. Right? This is acetone. Addition reaction will take place. You will get CH3, C, one H will combine here, one will combine here, CHOH, CH3. Right? Three carbon atoms, therefore propyl, OH, therefore alcohol. Attached to the second carbon and so second carbon atom, therefore sec propyl alcohol. Fine, do we get this thing here? Next, you can also have reduction of aldehydes and ketones by using sodium amalgam in water. Using sodium amalgam and water. Right? And see this what happens when former aldehyde is treated with sodium amalgam in water. Former aldehyde with sodium amalgam and water. Right? Let's see this. Former aldehyde. Former aldehyde is HCHO treated with sodium amalgam and water. Now, when I react with sodium amalgam and water, what I get is nascent hydrogen. I get nascent hydrogen, you have addition reaction taking place. But to form an alcohol here, from aldehyde I need two hydrogens. So for balancing I am going to take two. So in that case this is going to be CH, this was CH2, one hydrogen from here, CH3, O and the remaining hydrogen will give you OH. This is former aldehyde. And this is methyl alcohol. And we get this in here. Next, acetaldehyde. Second is by using acetal. Let's see another example of this. Acetaldehyde with sodium amalgam and water. Right? Acetaldehyde. CH3, CH2, CHO. Acetaldehyde reacts with sodium amalgam and water to give you nascent hydrogen. Two molecules of nascent hydrogen, right? In which case, CH3, CHO reacts with sodium amalgam and water to give you nascent hydrogen to molecules, acetaldehyde. Right, acetaldehyde reacts with sodium amalgam and water, right? In which case you will get addition reaction again, so you will get CH3, CH2, OH. Right? Two carbon atoms, therefore ethyl, OH, therefore alcohol. So you will get ethyl alcohol. Find the way this thing here. Next, let's see another reaction like this. Propinoaldehyde with sodium amalgam and water. Right? Propinoaldehyde. Propino, three carbon atoms. Aldehyde, CHO, 
So CH3, CH2, CHO, propinoaldehyde reacts with sodium amalgam in water. We will give you two hydrogen, right? In which case, addi addition reaction again. So you will have CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. This is propinoaldehyde. Three carbon atoms, therefore propyl, OH, therefore alcohol. This is propyl alcohol, right? Similarly, I could do another reaction like this. What happens when acetone with sodium amalgam in water? Right? Acetone reacts with sodium amalgam in water. Acetone. CH3, C, CH3, double bond O reacts with sodium amalgam in water. NaG plus water will give you two nascent hydrogen, right? Same addition reaction again, CH3, C, H, OH and the CH3 here as it is. This is acetone, three carbon atoms, therefore this is going to be propyl, OH, therefore alcohol, CH3 in the branch, therefore isopropyl alcohol. Why do we get this in grip? So that was the second method for preparation by reduction of aldehydes and ketones. The third method for preparation is, or sorry, third. The fourth method for preparation is by using Grignard's reagent. The next method for preparation that we'll use is using Grignard's reagent. What happens when former aldehyde is treated with methyl magnesium iodide? Former aldehyde with methyl magnesium iodide. Right? Former aldehyde with methyl magnesium iodide. Former aldehyde. H C H O methyl magnesium iodide Grignard's reagent always done in the presence of dry ether as catalyst this is former aldehyde this is methyl magnesium iodide now whenever you are doing Grignard's reagent first you will always get addition complex organic together inorganic together Get all the organic together, get inorganic together. So you have HC, CH3, organic together. Inorganic, ONGI, that leaves you with H, C, CH3, ONGI. So that leaves you with an H. That's your addition complex. Right? The addition complex then goes hydration reaction, reacts with water. That is HCH, CH3, OMGI. Addition complex. Right? The addition complex then reacts with water, acidic water. Right? The inorganic separates out. First thing you will have inorganic separating out. So Mg is out, OH is out, I is out. Mg, I, OH is out. So one H remains. The hydrogen molecule, hydrogen ion from water remains. That will substitute here. So you will get H, C, H, CH3 and OH. So this is nothing but CH3, CH2, OH, CH3, CH2, OH is nothing but two carbon atoms, therefore ethyl, OH, therefore alcohol. Right? That's how you get ethyl alcohol from formaldehyde. Next, let's see another reaction. Acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde reacts with uh, methyl magnesium iodide. Methyl 
magnesium iodide, right? Acetaldehyde, CH3, CHO reacts with methyl magnesium iodide. Acetaldehyde with methyl magnesium iodide. Dry ether. Renaud's reagent always takes place in the presence of dry ether. Renaud's reagent reaction are always two step reaction. First step is always addition complex. Addition complex organic together, inorganic together. CH3, C, CH3, organic together. Right? That leaves you with H here and O, N, G, I. That's my addition complex. The addition complex CH3, CH, CH3, O, N, G, I undergoes hydration, hydrolysis, reacts with water, inorganic separates out, Mg, I, O, H, out, Mg, I, O, H, out. The hydrogen ion from water reacts with the addition complex. So this is going to be CH3, C, CH3, CH, O, H, right? So in this case, this is addition complex. Three carbon atoms, therefore propyne. OH, therefore alcohol. OH is attached to the second carbon atom. Therefore, this can be called as sec propyl alcohol. This could also be called as isopropyl alcohol. If I consider the straight chain as a primary chain, then it could be called as isopropyl alcohol, right? So either I name it as sec propyl alcohol in this particular case, either I name it as sec propyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, it's the same thing. Right? Next. Let's see another reaction of this kind. What happens when propinoaldehyde with methyl magnesium iodide? So we know three carbon atoms, CH3, CH2, CHO, right, reacts with methyl magnesium iodide. This is propenoaldehyde with methyl magnesium iodide, right, dry ether. Addition complex, organic together, inorganic together. CH3, CH2, C, CH3, all organic are together. That leaves you with H here and O, M, G, I. This is my addition complex. Right? Addition complex, CH3, CH2, C, H, CH3 OMGI undergoes hydrolysis, reacts with water molecule, inorganic separates out. MGIOH inorganic out so that hydrogen ion that remains from water will react with the addition complex to form CH3 CH2 C CH3 CHOH. Right? This is addition complex. Right? One, two, three, four. Four carbon atoms, therefore butyl. OH, alcohol. Right? This is going to be iso. Methyl group in the branch. So this is going to be iso butyl alcohol. Fine, we get this in here. Next, let's see another reaction of this kind. What happens when acetone reacts with methyl 
magnesium iodide. Right? Acetone reacts with methyl magnesium iodide. Acetone. CH3, C, CH3O reacts with methyl magnesium iodide. Acetone. Methyl magnesium iodide. Right? In the presence of dry ether. Addition complex, organic together, inorganic together. So you have CH3, C, CH3, CH3, O, O, M, G, I. This is my addition complex, which undergoes hydrolysis. CH3OMGI undergoes hydrolysis, reacts with water, right? Inorganic separates out. Inorganic separates out, that means I'll get MGIOH, right? Plus CH3C, CH3, CH3OH, right? So this is your addition complex. Four carbon atoms, therefore butyl, OH, therefore alcohol. This carbon is tertiary, so this is tertiary butyl alcohol. So what you get here is tertiary butyl alcohol. Right? Next, let's see the physical properties of alcohol. This was Let's see the physical properties of alcohol. First of all, all forms of alcohol are toxic in nature. Right? The toxicity increases with the molecular weight. Increases with molecular weight. Right? Next, the lower members of the alcohol are volatile liquid with characteristic odor and burning taste. The lower members are volatile with characteristic odor and burning taste. Right. Next, the higher members are odorless, colorless, and waxy solids. Higher members are colorless, odorless, and waxy solids. Right. Now, alcohols are neutral compounds, they are neither acidic nor basic. So, alcohols are neutral compounds. Right? Methyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol and propyl alcohol are soluble in water, but the solubility decreases as the molecular weight increases. Met Ethanol, ethanol, and propanol are <coughs> soluble in water, but solubility decreases with increase in molecular weight. Then alcohols are lighter than water, but their density increases as the molecular weight increases. Are lighter than water, but density increases as 
molecular weight increases. Fine. So those are the physical properties of alcohol. Right? We'll stop this here for the day. Thank you very much.